A very good afternoon to you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Pride Park, home of Derby County FC, and for this week, the PlayStation Schools Cup throw. This is Platts looking to turn, find a route to goal. It's a good looking ball towards Palmer! Brilliant. And what a lovely goal from Ashfield. Slightly against the run of play, but a moment of real quality as Leighton, Platts, and Tyrese Palmer combine for the game's opening goal. Terrific cross, wonderful header, 1 0. Well, watch and enjoy. Fantastic ball, great delivery, unmarked in the box, and we felt the opportunities they were going to get. We're going to come maybe from wide areas, set pieces. It's the delivery, it's just a sublime pass into the box. And what a finish. This is Azoria. Lovely again from Azoria. Tetek, the skipper, he's a very two-footed player. Jim chops inside, feeds Tetek, Oxford. Into the groove now, Azorio Tetek. It's magical football. It's a wonderful Oxford goal. What a move. A goal fit to grace any competition. And the captain gets his side back into it. Nothing Ellis Jackson could do about that. Nothing I think many teams could do about that. It was simply unstoppable. Electric from Oxford Academy. Well, I think I can give them the biggest compliment. I would pay and come and watch this game right now. This brilliant Osorio Tetek out to the fullback. Lovely little cut back in from Tim. Back into Tetek. A little give and go. One, two. Watch this little pass here. What a layoff touch. That is brilliant and as good a team goal as you will ever see. Stunning, stunning goal. Look at the little layoff, the touch, and the weight of that. Takes the centre half out. Touch no right. chance. Finish with the left. And that just shows you the importance of being two-footed. Else, and Palmer can look to release Platt, who's onside this time. Brilliant run, brilliant control. Good save. Gets a second bite at it. And the referee's assistant, a signal a penalty. Yeah, he has. It's a penalty to Ashfield. Yeah, it was a pullback. And I think it was Tyler Webb who was pulling him back. He allowed the shot to be taken there. There's a kick, there's a pull. There he is, the arm's on the back of him. It's affected his uh, finish. And that's what the assistant down here has given. The Platz was trying to do was get across him like we've seen in a previous game. Get across the defender, make it impossible. If he's going to challenge, he's going to put him down for a penalty. And I think the right decision. Sam Geeves with the penalty. That is calmness personified. And the Ashfield end has just exploded. They lead again. Composure from the captain. Who's endured a really tough game in the centre of midfield. He's had to work incredibly hard off the ball. And he finally gets his reward going forward. Thing to affect the strike and in the end, the assistant referee down here decided that it was a step too far. And I've, I've got to agree with him. That swings in the cross, what a ball that is! 3-1! Two becomes three! The substitute, Dylan Spencer! Wonderful work once again from the number nine who lays on another. The Oxford defence went missing. Spencer's finish was spectacular. And in the space of two second half minutes, the game might have just gone beyond the Oxford Academy. Ashfield lead by three goals to one. Well, we talk about the first opener and what a fantastic ball that was. And really is one of the toughest decisions I think I've ever had to make of a player of the match. <laughs> we'll leave that with you for the moment. It's a great looking ball and it might come through here. And the finish is there, surely. What a finish it is. Brandon Keeling has sealed it. It's game over and it's Ashfield who'll take it home. The cherry on top of the icing is sealed by Brandon Keeling. What a wonderful finish right into the corner 
Oxford slumped around the pitch. 4-1 is perhaps harsh, but Ashfield have been so deadly in front of goal. And Brandon Keeling. Steps onto his right. Tetek. Beautiful football. Osorio turns and it's through and the shot comes in and they've got a goal back. Tyler Webb, it's another wonderful team goal. It might well be too little too late for the Oxford Academy. But if that is to be the final word in this final, it's another wonderful Oxford goal. Yeah, it's a brilliant finish. Brilliant, brilliant finish and it's sums up this game about the level of quality. Osorio, I thought very, very clever to set that up. Really sat back and watched a lovely game of football. And so well done to all the players. The referee, Mark Warren, blows full time. Dejection for the Oxford Academy. Jubilation for Ashfield School, who win the Under-14 Open Schools Cup. Now with Michael Bird, the, uh, the coach from uh, the Oxford Academy. A very tough loss for you to take today, particularly, I guess, because you played so well. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very dis disappointing. The boys did absolutely bri brilliantly. I thought we dominated the whole game. Um, we just didn't take our chances at the vital moment, but uh, well done to Ashfield. Um, I think the keeper kept them in the game. Um, but like I said, well done to them for uh, winning the national final today. Is there ultimately a lot you can be proud of from what's been a great season to get to this point and a great performance in the final? Looking ahead to what is essentially a very young team, constant improvement. Oh yeah, well, everyone at the school is really proud proud of all the boys. They did perform absolutely brilliantly and they have done all year. Um, today just wasn't our day and um, like I said earlier on, Ashfield, I'm not going to say they were the better team today because uh, I thought we were, um, but well done for them to, for sticking out and uh, getting the result. Thanks for talking to us. Congratulations on a great game. All right. Thank you very much. Bye. Joined here by Sam Stretton, head coach of Ashfield School. A man who is very, very happy right now. A phenomenal performance in the final. Talk us through your thoughts. Um, I think, first of all, massive credit to Oxford because individually they had some excellent players today and really, really tested us. I mean, at times, if it wasn't for our uh, Superman in there, Ellis Jackson, perhaps it could have been a different story. But at the minute, I'm just, I'm so proud. I could, I could burst out at the minute. It was an incredible final, two very, very different styles of play. Talk me through your guys' game plan. Your man up top had a phenomenal game in particular. Yeah, we all season, I mean, every game we play, we know that we've always got that outlet. If things are tough, then Leighton is just absolutely rapid. So we've always got that, that ball in behind. Um, they had a lot of possession to start with, but our lads, we just kept saying to them, dig in, dig in, track your runners, and then hopefully try and get bodies up forward to support. <laughs> And it worked, <laughs> and then we got a few, a few chances on the counter-attack, so, yeah. A little bit of an insight there into the relationship you have with your players. It's a very special group, isn't it? Yeah, these boys are class. I mean, I've had them since year seven, and I just, I'll stick by them through thick and thin, and they'll do me proud, so I'm more than happy with that. They certainly did today. Congratulations, Sam, and congratulations to Ashfield School. Thank you very much, mate. Cheers.